example of a fuzzy logic waveform detector we select an input waveform it's actually essentially an envelope of the time series waveform so it could be g cg or anything else the fuzzy logic is uh, doing classification uh, uh, based on different parameters essentially looking at the membership of uh, symmetry and the sharpness of the signal so if it's a triangle it will be sharper than a square based on symmetry you could detect uh, the difference between say a square and a left uh, triangle because the square will be symmetric left triangle would not so left to right triangle will be kind of similar to an envelope of a spike uh, during a seizure or a qrs complex during uh, ecg let's see what it says here we have an input uh, wave selector noise amplitude control output wave selector it's square yeah so that that in that example is the false uh, false detection uh, because the noise is too large the input is a hexagon but it's detecting a square and this um, percent detection error is very high so essentially what we're doing now is converting this tool into python we have both uh, github copilot and gpt4 trying to help us with the task so currently this is what we have running it's giving us unknown so the noise works okay get an unexpected token the json file is not valid right get an error in uh, a backend as well length of x and fuzzy membership function must be identical right so the post we only have one uh, post request at the moment it's called the uh, analyze it's giving us this error so no my detection error is wrong now it's always showing a square and there are no errors so that means the output uh, is always below uh, one third so essentially the current configuration the output that is looking at the symmetry yeah the output is super low the symmetry you would expect for a left triangle which is still a sinusoid yeah, essentially only square works input waveform only works when we choose square as an input for all other inputs it goes to the default option which is the sinusoid yes else the default option is the sinusoid yeah we have to make uh, sure the signal there matches f hexagon and else return signal that should uh, not be case sensitive anymore square no doesn't work there is no match to say left trapezoid input wave left triangle whatever whatever that is it's definitely not a sinusoid that's for sure so on this square to check there's some sort of case uh, sensitive issue verify string matching there's something wrong with that order there so we have square left trapezoid and this is the default the signal length is 100 data points that's okay yeah we really have to fix that plotly loading forever triangle right triangle let's make any sense that's what the hexagon should look like like this i don't know i don't want something like this someone exactly like this no it's not defaulting anymore that's okay yeah, I don't think it uh, interpreted this uh, image correctly. In the image, there is a red hexagon. Can you provide a function that will uh, generate a similar envelope of the signal as the uh, output wave? It now picked up the 200 from the image on the x axis, and 100 should be fine. Fixed 100 signal length should be okay. We also don't need a separate function for it. Just the uh, piecewise should be signal hexagon wave. If no strings matches, it does the sinusoid. That should uh, I should not see the sinusoid anymore. 
rising edge, first vertex, top flat line, dividing the thing into six, the hexagon again, and so it's dividing the thing to one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, know what the problem is? So it's meant to be two waveforms instead of one. Again, let's solve it. This is what I get for the hexagon. It's still dividing into six regions. The first region, two minus zero. Rise to the first corner, horizontal top, down to the middle, back to the start. Go from here. Should be better with that than what we currently have. Give any errors. Oh, those errors should be okay. Square. Yeah, that's wrong. It can't get it right. This is still incorrect. Uh, can you double check? Do we need to separate waveforms for the top and the bottom parts of the envelope? Yeah, I want to get to the fuzzy logic bit. We essentially need two waveforms for the top and the bottom shape of the envelope. Okay, keep repeating the same thing, but it doesn't work. Uh, this doesn't look like an um, envelope of a hexagonal shape. Do we need to split it into two waveforms? Uh, first, it looks the same. So we'll just change this slope. It's playing dumb. A square is a square, even though that's a sine of side of it. I know it's not sine, but it's sine. It's clipping it. What? So left. It's making sense. Okay, so we're having trouble. And let's close GitHub. Copilot doesn't give us anything useful. And it's too much. E piecewise, it doesn't not correct. We have the hexagon shape, a print screen, a copy, generate, input wave hexagon that looks like this. Here, the code should be basic geometry. <laughs> okay. Why does it look like a hexagon as in the original image provided? Does the hexagon that you generated looks like the image I provided where the hexagon is built out of two waveforms for separate for the top and bottom? It's interesting how its uh, logic works. I'd say, yeah, sometimes it's like an advanced uh, developer. In this case, it's uh, playing a bit silly. So they both should start from zero. One five by five axis are separate top and bottom envelopes. None of them are correct. Let's do the top part. Can we just do one uh, envelope? Uh, one envelope, just the top part. One, two, three, four, five. Should have it's divided into six parts no five parts the output doesn't look like a hexagon it's obviously a contradiction between python and other waveforms being generated by javascript or python the waveforms are being generated in python how do we update this javascript 